We don't get a lot of chance to see other optometrists work. In this video, you'll be able to. You'll see two great techniques in getting the correct cylinder power. Welcome back. Deciding on which cylinder power can sometimes be tricky. We're going to look at uh, two great techniques from an experienced optom I filmed recently. Please subscribe to my channel, then you'll be notified when I make my next video. You can comment below and remember to give a like if you enjoy it. I'd really like to get your feedback, so don't be shy. Let's start the video. Let's set the scene. This is an elderly gentleman, 75 years old. We are refracting his right eye. We've just finished the axis measurement and are moving on to the power measurement. Let's start. Clearer was the first, or the second. Second. Or if I just take it out. Though. Sorry. Yeah, that was in. In the first years. That's an interesting move, isn't it? Putting the cross sill in and out after getting a definite answer from the patient. The patient said go down in power, but our optom wants to check that, the, that he really needs to decrease in cylinder power. That's one of the great things about the cross cylinder. It's a balanced lens, a plus 025 sphere with a minus 050 cylinder. So you can just put it in and out without worrying about changing the spheres. A nice technique. If our patient says it's better, reduce the power. If it's not, there's no need to change the power. In this case, the patient definitely says go down in power, so our Opton does. What happens next? Okay, tell you what, if we go back down to the letters again, yeah, you want the ZCHVK, e, yes, maybe right. the one just underneath, difficult R, the yeah, better sorry, one, I'm guessing, yeah, one, two, one. So now we have a dilemma, don't we? Is it the minus one or the minus one, two, five, like the patient was wearing before? How do we decide? Let's see what our experience optom does. Uh, very subtle. That's with it in. Or if I just take it away. In. In, yeah, perfect. Very simple and elegant, wasn't it? Just hold the difference in front to see if it's better. Very nice. Let's run it through again. Then we can have a look at some of the takeaway clinical pearls. Clear was the first. Or the second. Second. Or if I just take it out. Though. Sorry. Yeah, that was in. In. The first years. Mm, I like that. Good. Okay. So if we go back down to the letters game. Yeah. What, ZCHVK? E, yes. Which Maybe the one just underneath. Difficult R. The better one. Yeah. Uh -huh. One. Uh -huh. Very subtle. That's what it is. Or if I just... Very go. nice. <laughs> very nice. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. Let's look at the takeaway clinical pearls. The power of the cross cylinder is plus 025 with a minus 050 cylinder. Good to remember that. Putting the cross cylinder in and out can be a very useful technique. Show minus 025 sill over the top to decide between adjacent sill powers. You can always use a plus 025 sill as well if you like. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Then you'll be notified when I make my next one. See you next time.